Hey guys, it's Jenna and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it's been over a month since I've done a video. Um, we've just had, you know, Mother's Day, multiple birthdays. It's now Memorial Day weekend, just a lot going on, weddings. So, um, you know, generally because I live in such a brutal winter climate, anytime that it's spring or summer or even fall, I tend to upload, you know, once every couple of weeks versus every week anyway, just because I wanna be out and mindful and really enjoying our beautiful weather here. But that aside, today we're gonna be talking about tretinone user my favorite sunscreens now i titled this video tretinone user favorite sunscreens um, because even though these sunscreens could really work for anyone i find that as a tretinone user i have some sensitivities in my skin that you know, I probably wouldn't otherwise have if I weren't using tretinoin. So um, a lot of my audience found my channel via my tretinoin reviews. And so I just wanted to make sure that I was including that in the title to let my audience know, you know, many of which are tretinoin users, that these sunscreens would more than likely be appropriate for you. Now, I am only doing three favorite sunscreens today because you guys, I have tried so many sunscreens and it is very hard to find one that I like. Now, a uh, quick brief history on my sun exposure. I am 34 and I really didn't start wearing sunscreen on my face and neck and chest until about three years ago. Um, I was a total sun worshiper growing up. I literally used to put baby oil on my entire body and face. I used to put tin foil behind my head. I used to go in tanning beds, you know, the whole shebang. So I've definitely given it to my skin in terms of sun damage. And one of the reasons why, you know, I haven't really worn a sunscreen up until the last three years is because I always felt like they were really uncomfortable um, on my face. And so that is one thing I can say about today is uh, sunscreens that I'm gonna be talking to you guys about. They may not have the highest SPF in the world. Um, they may not be the top PA rating, but they will have good SPFs and will also be good PA ratings. But most of all, they're comfortable on my face. So. I can feel like I can wear them every day. They're not gonna irritate my skin. I'm not gonna smell them. They're not gonna feel weird on my skin. And that's basically how I rate my favorite sunscreens personally. So with that, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my number one sunscreen of all time. So anytime that people have asked me in the comments, what is your all-time favorite sunscreen? This has always been the one that I've replied with, and it is the Suntiq I Am Safe for Sensitive Skin. So this is an SPF 35, which is probably the lowest SPF of the three that I'll go over today, and it's a PA++++. So for those of you who are not familiar with a PA rating, I'll just say it once and then you can kind of know it for the rest of the sunscreens that I talk about. So we do not have PA ratings here in the United States, but in other countries they use PA ratings to talk about how well the sunscreen can protect you from UVA rays as well as UVB exposure. So typically when you see an SPF, um, it will tell you how good the sunscreen is at protecting you from UVB rays, but there are also UVA rays which can really age us um, and that is what the PA rating is reflecting. So the highest PA rating you can have is four pluses, and this one has three pluses. This is 1.65 fluid ounces, and it retails for about 22 US dollars. You guys, I'm sorry, my hands are so dry right now, but you guys, this formula is so milky, and it rubs in like a dream, doesn't leave any white cast, and you cannot feel it on your skin at all. It literally becomes part of your skin. So I'm rubbing it in and it's at first gonna have just a teeny bit of sheen, but that sheen will totally go away. If you have dry skin, which I do, you can use this. If you have oily skin, which I don't, but I have in the past, you can absolutely use this. If you have acne prone skin, you can use this. It is for sensitive skin. I'm just gonna read kind of what it says on the website. By the way, I will include all of these sunscreens in Amazon links in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. So this says um, 1.65 fluid, fluid ounce physical sun cream without biologically harmful ingredients such as PABA, avobenzene, oxybenzone, fragrance, parabens, chemical UV filters. So that's so interesting to me that this is a physical sunscreen. I was almost certain that it was a chemical sunscreen just because 
it just is so amazing on the skin and there's no white cast but sure enough it says right on the front non-chemical uv filters 100 mineral filter so in other words it's a physical sunscreen easily washable and water splash effect it really does feel like you're quenching your face with water um, but then like i said it doesn't leave any greasy kind of residue afterward spf 35 effect effectively shields uv rays um UV ray harm from everyday life. It protects against both UVA and UVB rays. It is not animal tested. Um, skin irritation index is 0, 0.00, which is absolutely none. That's the lowest, obviously, that you can have. And all ingredients are constituted of EWG class one to two safe ingredients. So for those of you who are familiar with EWG, I can talk about that maybe or get into it in a different video. It also contains Sika to help restore skin and is specially designed for sensitive skin. So it's suitable for babies um, as well as, you know, people who are uh, much older. It can be easily removed with just one simple cleansing. So um, again, this is 1.65 fluid ounces, retails for $22. I will include an Amazon link in the description box below, but this is for sure my all time favorite favorite sunscreen. By the way, all three of these sunscreens that I'm talking about today are sunscreens I purchased for the first time with my own money and I have also repurchased um, a second time with my own money just in case you're wondering. So this is what it looks like. All right, so my second favorite sunscreen is the is this one right here and it is the Nisha Essence Sun SPF 45 PA++++. So this one is essentially 10 more SPF than this guy right here. Um, same PA rating, so it has three out of four pluses, and it is gonna be 1.69 fluid ounces, and let me just check what this retails for as well. So this is, apparently the full name is the All Around Safe Block Essence SPF 45. This is 1.69 fluid ounces, which I think is the same as the last one. Yes, 1.69 fluid ounces, and it retails for $17.50. So um, a little bit less than the first sunscreen that I mentioned, um, but you know, still a similar price point, I would say. And let's go ahead and squirt this out on the hand. This one is not is still very milky. It's not quite as milky as the last one, but then again, I don't really know of any sunscreen that is as milky as the last one. This, um, I would say has more of a velvety finish at first, but then just like the previous sunscreen, it dries down entirely. Again, it doesn't have any scent, which I love. Let's go ahead and read on the Amazon website what it says about this sunscreen in particular. So what's cool about this one is that it is water and sweat resistant. So Essence Sun Milk hydrates and cools off skin affected by the harsh sunlight. Double layer UV blocking system. New double layer UV blocking system provides long lasting, impenetrable UV protection even as humidity rises. So it's longer lasting sun protection because it has that double layer polymer system. It stays in place for longer through sweat, water, and heat. So um, if you are someone who's going to be around water more or maybe you're working out during the day or you live in a climate like Florida, for example, where there's really high humidity, this one is supposed to be great because of that double layer polymer effect that hydrates and conditions with a botanical blend of natural extracts to help reveal a softer, brighter, clearer looking complexion. All right, so again, that is the Misha All Around Safe Block Sun Essence. This is great for sensitive skin. It's gonna be more sweat proof and humidity proof, uh, maybe slightly waterproof. Um, but you know, like any sunscreen, you should be reapplying it every two hours if you're in you know those kind of environments or conditions. So here is what it looks like. All right, so that is number two. Uh, number three is gonna be the COS RX Aloe Soothing Sun Balm. This is SPF 50 PA++++. So this is you know, the highest of all three in terms of SPF. Um, it has the same PA rating as the other two, which is three out of four pluses. This is 1.69 fluid ounces, which is identical to the other two sunscreens I've talked about today, and it retails for $22.95. So that is essentially $1 higher than um, the other most expensive sunscreen that I talked about here today. So, so far we've had $22, which is my number one sunscreen, 
1750 my number two sunscreen and 2295 is my third favorite sunscreen let's go ahead and take a look at what it says in terms of the description on the website so it says sun moisturizer the aloe soothing sun cream is similar to a light moisturizer unlike other sunblocks that leave the skin dry and stripped so that can be something that that sunblock does is leaving your skin feel dry feel drip feel oh my gosh Blah feeling dry and stripped. But another thing I found sunscreens can do, especially lately with some of the chemical filters, um, especially Asian chemical filters, which I actually prefer over US chemical filters, but they can really leave like a greasy appearance um, on your face, which, you know, I'm not about either. So this one is probably the thickest feeling one of the other sunscreens. And again, it's gonna go down as more of like a velvety kind of feel at first but then it completely is absorbed by your skin leaving your skin feeling nice and bouncy not greasy not dried you know etc so it feels great on the skin and again it has no scent so the key ingredient is aloe aborescence leaf extract which soothes and moisturizes the skin at the same time now in terms of texture it says it has a lightweight and moisturizing texture you know it is lightweight but again i will say it was probably as i mentioned the thickest of the three that i've talked about today um it's absorbed into the skin fast without feeling greasy or leaving a white cast. As you can see, there's absolutely no white cast with any of these sunscreens. Those are probably all of the main points in terms of this sunscreen. So what I like honestly about, and let me just show you guys the bottle up close again. What I really like about all three of these sunscreens, you guys, is um, they're really simple and to the point. Like they're not going above and beyond and doing all these other things for your skin. They're basically a sunscreen and why I enjoy them personally is because I can't feel them on my skin. Now, I really like the chemical UV filters of Asian sunscreens, but if you have something against chemical filters or, you know, just don't want to use one um, it's amazing that this is an all mineral filter and feels like it does on the skin again i cannot say enough about this if you haven't tried this you need to try it i i literally i don't know if i can say this on youtube so i don't want to say i promise you're gonna love it but i can't see how you would not love it um so anyway these are my top three favorite sunscreens you guys i have a bunch more sunscreens that i've ordered recently that i've never tried so if you've watched my five days of sunscreens in the past um, be sure to check that video out it will be coming soon with some brand new sunscreens again that i haven't tried yet all of these sunscreens that i talked about today will be listed in the amazon it will, will be listed with Amazon links in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. And until next time, I hope everyone is doing great, and I will talk to you all soon. Happy Memorial Day.